This is the enemy number one of Israel. He is, his name is Yahya, funny name. Yahya Sinwar. And he has made disgusting statements about killing the Jews all the time. So he was just killed on Sukkot. Let me show you a little bit of history about him. On Rosh Hashanah, that means the first feast, Yahya Sinwar was called the butcher. He was released in a prison swap. He was called the butcher. Uh, he only killed four hostages with his own hand. He killed them. But he actually kills also the Palestinians. Anyone he doesn't like, anyone he's suspicious, you might be uh, a spy, he killed them all. So he's called the butcher. In the year 2011, Israel was willing to release 1,226 Palestinian prisoners for one Israeli hostage. His name was Gilad Shalit. Amazing. Israel values life so much. Yahya Sinwar was one of the prisoners that was released. In six years, he rose up to become the leader of Hamas. Last year, on Sukkot, he was the mastermind of the terrorist attack against civilians oh. in Israel. Actually, Sukkot ended on October 6. So he planned it, and then it was executed the next day. The day of the finishing of the plan was actually Simchat Torah. On Sukkot this year, Yahya Sinwar was accidentally killed in Rafa. This guy is very difficult for Israel to find. They say that he always carries a bag of dynamites with him. They say wherever he goes, he has 20 hostages surrounding him to protect him. So Israel cannot find him and cannot shoot him. Now, remember last month, they have the pager operation. It blew up the hands and the eyes of Hamas. So Yahya has no way to call people. So he had to leave his house to go talk to some of his generals. He had to meet them face to face. They found three of them walking outside. So Israel starts shooting at them, not knowing who is this person. He runs up into this building right there in the bottom. He runs into the building to hide. The Israeli drone took that photo on the lower right. The drone is just hovering like this, looking at him like, who is this guy? They don't know it's the head of Hamas. They think he's dead in the seat. But while the drone is there, he has a stick in his hand. So he throws the stick at the drone. So th right away they know he's alive. So the Israeli ordered a tank to shoot into the building. They find out it's Yahya Sinwar right there, the number one enemy of Israel. They accidentally kill the number one guy on Sukkot. And he planned the terrorist attack on Sukkot one year before. Only people who have spiritual eyes knows this is God. The world just think it's another war, it's another act of terror. And they all love the Palestinians. Well, here's Yahya's wife. They lay run around in the tunnel. She has very pretty uh, Hermes bag. You can buy this bag for only $32,000. Her one bag. Let me tell you the truth. Hamas hates the Palestinians. The best place for the Palestinians to live in peace is always in Israel. But Israel cannot live in peace in Palestine or Gaza. Sinwar hates the Palestinians. His wife hates the Palestinians. His wife takes the money to be food aid, aid to help the Palestinians, and she buys herself a one million baht bag. And all the foolish Americans who support this, your tax dollar goes to build terror tunnels and buy Yahya's wife fancy clothes. For sure, God sees this. God never forgets. And God will repay at the right time. Sometimes we're waiting and waiting. Why doesn't God answer me? God knows the right time. You don't know the right time. Sometimes it's not you. Sometimes God is waiting for someone else. But we only think about ourselves. God is love. He loves everybody, not just you. For many years, I've been advising people to prepare by having at least a month's worth of food and water. And I've tried several long life food products and uh, I've chosen one that I think is the most organic uh, that I can find for myself and my family and it's called New Mana. So if you're looking for long life food, it's called New Mana and we have a very dedicated uh, link for this, newmana.com slash Pastor Steve, all right? Their tubs will last 25 years on the shelf and I not only store it, but because I find it's good quality and it's organic, I actually eat it when my fresh produce uh, run low. So if you use the promo code Pastor Steve, you will get 10% discount. Numana is owned and operated by Christians who support this ministry 
and other ministries when you purchase it. So that's why I'm willing to let you know that's what I use, right? Numana.com slash Pastor Steve. I hope that will help you to prepare uh, at, least for a, at least for a month, at least. At least have something. If the internet goes down, the grid goes down, something unexpected happens, at least a month. Like, that will keep you going. Then you can decide what to do. You're going to bunker down, then you need more. You're going to move, then you got some supply. All right? Okay, God bless you.